Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So we were doing the solutions of first order differential equations and today we will learn how to solve the linear equation, right? So before we go to the solution, let us understand who are the linear equations, right? So what is a linear equation? A differential equation is said to be linear if the dependent variable and its derivatives are of degree 1. The coefficients of a term does not depend upon the dependent variable. So that means the two things that we need to check. In fact, there are three things to check. First of all, the dependent variable. So if I'm saying that dy by dx, the differential equation contains this derivative, then y is the dependent variable. So y and its derivative, they should have degree 1 and they should not be also in the form of a product, right? So we have learned that in the last video. And secondly, any coefficient of a term should not depend upon the dependent variable. That means it should be free from y. It can contain any terms of the independent variable, but none of the terms should be of the dependent variable, right? So any first order linear differential equation can be expressed in this form dy by dx plus px into y is equal to q times x. So here you can see that this is the dependent variable. This is the independent variable and it is coming in the product with a dependent variable. So this is allowed, but it cannot be P times Y into Y, right? So the function cannot depend upon the variable Y. So the product and the, uh, the dependent variable and its derivative, they should not be in the form of a product, right? So let us learn what are the two types of linear differential equations that we have. So we have two types of linear differential equations. The first one is a Leibniz linear differential equation and it has the form dy by dx plus px into y is equal to qx where both p and q they are clearly functions of x. The second type of differential equation, linear differential equation is a Bernoulli's linear differential equation and it is of the type dy by dx plus px into y is qx into y to the power n. So the only difference in the Leibniz and the Bernoulli's linear differential equation is the left hand side remains same. In the right hand side, in Leibniz equation, it is simply a function of x, whereas in a Bernoulli's equation, it is a function of x multiplied by powers of 1. So today we will learn how to solve a Leibniz linear differential equation. So now what is the method to solve a Leibniz linear differential equation? For that, since this differential is not a <clears throat> perfect integral. We cannot say that it's an exact equation. So we try to make it integrable by multiplying by an integrating factor. So what is an integrating factor? Integrating factor is a factor which when multiplied with the differential equation makes it integrable, right? So we have seen that in the previous two methods when we were doing variable separable or the homogeneous equations, we were reducing it into a variable separable method and then we were integrating both ends to get our solution, right? So now here it is not integrable. So we are trying to make it integrable with the help of this integrating factor. So in this case, what is the integrating factor? Whatever is the coefficient of y present in your equation, you take e raised to power integral of px dx and that becomes the integrating factor. And then what will you do? We will calculate the solution by this, this that we multiply y with the integrating factor and this is equal to integration q into the integrating factor plus constant t, right? So this is our solution for a Leibniz linear differential equation. Let's try to find out, figure out some examples in this method. <clears throat> so the first one says dy by dx plus y is equal to x. So the first step is compare this equation with the standard linear Leibniz linear differential equation and see what are the coefficients p and the coefficients q. So when you compare it with this equation, we will clearly see that px is equal to 1 and qx is equal to x. So the first step is done. <clears throat> In the second step, we calculate the integrating factor and the integrating factor is e raised to power integration px dx. So that becomes e raised to power integration. Sorry, it's p is 1. So integration 1 dx and that turns out to be e raised to power x. So now what is our solution? 
the solution becomes then y into the integrating factor that is e raised to power x is equal to integration right hand side function q is x x multiplied by the integrating factor e raised to power x bx plus the constant c. So again you can see a product here in integration so we apply the eyelid rule. So according to the eyelid rule x is the first function and e is the second function. So first function as it is integration of the second function minus integral sign derivative of the first function that is 1 integration of the second function that is e raised to power x plus c. So that turns out to be x e raised to power x minus e raised to power x plus constant c. So we can divide through e raised to power x and we get y as x minus 1 plus c into e raised to power minus x. So that becomes our answer. Right. So now let's try to do another question. So we need to solve for x into log x dy by dx plus y is equal to log x square. So here let's write the Leibniz linear differential equation. It is dy by dx plus px into y is equal to qx. So here you can see that the coefficient of dy by dx should be 1. So what is to be done? We first of all divide this equation with x log x, right? So we get dy by dx plus y divided by x log x is equal to, what is log x square? Anything in the form of an exponent, like that exponent comes out and we get 2 log x divided by x log right so whatever gets cancelled you can cancel them so you can see log x get cancelled and the equation is dy by dx plus y upon x log x is equal to two by x <coughs> now the next step is identify px and qx so when you identify px it is 1 by x log x and when you identify qx, that is 2 by x, right? Now, let's calculate the integrating factor now. Integrating factor is e raised to power integration p dx. So, p is 1 by x times log x dx. What is the integration of this? So, let us put log x equal to t. So, when we put log x equal to t, we get 1 by x dx is equal to dt. So this term becomes e raised to power integration. 1 by x times dx is becoming dt and we have 1 by t. So what is e raised to power 1 by t log dt? It is log t and we get the integrating factor as t. Now what is t? t is basically log x. So that means our integrating factor is log x. So then what is our solution? So solution becomes y into the integrating factor that is log x is equal to integration right hand side function that is 2 by x into log x dx plus constant c. So again you need to apply the eyelid rule. So according to the eyelid rule now log will become my first function. And 1 by x will become my second function and I can take out 2 outside, right? So when I take out 2 outside, first function as it is, integration of second function, integration of 1 by x is log x, then minus integral sign, derivative of first function, that is 1 by x, and integration of second function, that is log x, right? And we have dx plus constant c. So now let me work out over here. And now when we work out, what do we get? We get y into log x is equal to 2 times log of x whole square. Then we have minus. Let's figure out what is this integration. So I'm doing the integral here. 1 by x times log x dx. So let's put log x equal to t. 
So if log x is t, then 1 by x dx is equal to dt. So this integration becomes 1 by x dx will become dt and log x is t. So this is t times dt. So that becomes t squared by 2 and t is what? Log x. So we can write it as 2 times log x whole square divided by 2 plus constant c. Right. So your final answer becomes y into or uh, you can divide it by log x also on both sides. So we get y is equal to 2 log x minus 2 cancels out. 1 log x cancels out and we get minus 2 log x plus c by x. Right. So this is how we work out for a Leibniz linear differential equation. Let us work out another problem. And we have now dx upon dy minus x upon y is equal to 2y square. So here you can see that the differential coefficient is a little different. We are usually solving dy by dx. Now it is dx by dy. So let us compare it with our standard equation dy by dx plus px into y is equal to q of x. So here you can see that we had the product of a function of x with y. Now we are having a product of y into x and on the right hand side we have the product of y. That means the roles of x and y are getting interchanged, right? So let us try to identify the function py. So py is minus 1 by y and qy is <coughs> 2y squared. So integrating factor is e raised to power. So everywhere in your formulation x will be changed with y. So we have py dy that turns out to be e raised to power minus integration 1 by y dy and integration of 1 by y is minus log y and this is y inverse so we will get 1 by y. <coughs> now what is our solution then? The solution is x into the integrating factor that is 1 by y is integration q. Q is 2y square into 1 by y dy plus constant. So y cancels out. Integration of 2y is 2y square by 2 plus c. So now 2 cancels out. Now let us throughout multiply with y on both ends. So x comes out to be y cube plus c times y. Right. So this becomes your answer. Right. So I hope you have understood the Leibniz linear differential equation and now I'm giving you some practice exercises or you can solve this one also. One more problem we can solve. Here this is uh, compared with the standard equation that is dy by dx plus px into y is equal to qx. So you need to tell me what is px and qx. Yes px is tan x and qx is cos square y, right, cos square x, sorry. So your integrating factor is e raised to power integration tan x dx. So what is integration of tan x? It is secant x, right? <clears throat> is it secant x or is it log secant x? So whenever you forget the integral, you can simply write this term as sin x by cos x, isn't it? And when you write it like this, what the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So you can multiply with the minus sign and now this becomes minus log cos x, right? So this is integration of minus log cos x. And now this is e raised to power cos x inverse that turns out to be Right. So now what is our solution? So our solution is y into secant x is equal to integration cos squared x into secant x dx plus constant c. So one cos x will get cancelled. We have integration of cos x dx plus c. So y into secant x will be what is integration of cos x? It is sin x, sin x plus c. 
So now when you divide by secant x throughout, you will get sin x by secant x. So that is why sin x into cos x plus c times secant x when you divide, you will get cos x. Right? So that becomes our final answer. Done? Okay. So now just try these practice problems right and do give me in the comment section if you have any doubt so we can discuss that question right and if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who have not subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed thank you so much